What a year 2023 has been. I've learned so much in the last year from trading, prop firm, entrepreneurship, and even just how the world works. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down everything I learned from 2023 and what my plan is to get to the next level in 2024. Now I'm ending the year off amazingly in Dubai for the last kind of week of the year, going through Christmas and New Year's. It's been incredible. Even some of the people you speak to here give you an amazing insight on the difference between the Western culture and places like Dubai and how it's even becoming a little bit more westernized. Obviously, if you don't know me already, I'm Rob Donna. I'm a full-time Forex trader. The last year, I've managed to pass 1.4 million in funded capital using prop firms. And I'm also going to be breaking down in this video my thoughts on prop firms for the next coming year, an update on my Forex funds and whether they'll come back or not. So 2023 was another year directly on the charts and it's also where I found in Woke Effect. Now this couldn't have gone any better in my opinion. I got my first funded account back in September 2022 and since then scaled to the 1.4 mil using different prop firms. The biggest blow and the biggest lesson from 2023 was having that 500k taken away from my Forex funds and also the 10k payout as well. If you don't know what happened with my Forex funds, they were the second biggest prop firm in the industry and basically they got shut down by the Canadian authorities due to misleading customers and awful trading conditions. This meant that I lost half a million worth of capital and also lost $10,000 worth of payouts. However, it does look like my Forex funds could be coming back. They've had over 100 million unfrozen and they're also putting up a very good fight with this lawsuit. The most recent thing to happen with the case is their website is now live again not fully back to where it was before, but it now longer says it's frozen and stuff like that. So yeah, it could be a very positive start to 2024 if they do come back. I'm obviously going to use them again because I've got the funded capital with them and the payout. Whether I'll go with them again, I'm not too sure. Realistically, all of these prop firms are using bad slippage, bad spreads, and want the customer to fail. That's how they all run. The main concern was some of the comments that's been released from my forex funds about the slipping to hell and you can't pay that person out, stuff like that. That's what's concerning, but I do believe most prop firms probably act the same way. The good thing about prop firms is they're becoming easier and easier to pass as there's more competition. So the rules are getting lighter and lighter and lighter, meaning more traders are able to pass them. I remember seeing one of the statistics from my Forex funds, I think it was December 2021, and I think only 0.28% of traders that took the challenges actually got to a payout stage. Whereas now I'm pretty sure that number's way higher for the majority of prop firms. So my game plan for the next year is to continue to scale with these prop firms to get more and more in funding, hit leaderboards more and more times, and just consistently make a good amount of money so that I can continue to live this lifestyle and be a full-time trader ultimately. My plan is to have a million of funding linked to one account with small risk, looking for maybe 1% gain a month, if that, because I would still mean that I'm making five figures a month or 8K a month after the profit split. Then I'd like to have another million of funding that I would trade more aggressively and aim for higher percentage returns, such as 5%, maybe even 10% on some months. Now, this is obviously dependent on the market and what opportunities there are out there. So you can't guarantee returns in, in trading, but that's my game plan going into 2024. I also want to scale my personal account to multi six figures and potentially even go towards that seven figure level. And that will obviously be held down massively by those prop firm payouts and crypto as well, because I do believe crypto is gonna have a very good couple of years. My next target is to make sure as many woke effects traders are getting funded with six slash seven figures in the next year. We've been running for a year and we've had a ridiculous return on the amount of people that are getting funded for the amount of people we've got in the mentorship. One of the places that I learned from had like 800 people that have been going for five years and it only had about five or six six figure funded traders. We've only been doing it for around a year. Before this month, we had about 80 people in, and I think 20 to 25 funded traders. So in terms of percentage return in like people who are passing challenges and getting funded and being able to do this full time, it's ridiculous, it's not even comparable. So my aim is to make that as close to 100% as possible, especially with the people who are in now. So we're gonna be on the ball with trading, we're gonna have more office meetups, we're gonna do more and more education. There will be more and more free education on the YouTube as well, so make sure you subscribe. And I also want to continue growing my personal brand and continuously giving out free information to the wider audience. So that'll be done through YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Shorts, Reels, whatever. It'll be constant information being given out on 
trading and how I trade, etc. I want to get the free Discord up to 10k. We've currently hit 3k, which is pretty good. Bearing one, it's only been around for about six months. So make sure to join that. The link is in the bio. I've got a few videos that I want to do for next year. One of them being creating a brand new strategy, doing it all for you guys on YouTube, and then passing a prop firm challenge with it and getting leaderboards or something like that with it. I probably won't go for leaderboards straight away, but I'll get a few payouts and potentially go for leaderboards. And this is mainly to emphasize the fact that it's not all down to your strategy. A lot of it's down to the psychology of the trader. Almost every strategy works if you can backtest it and you see it's got a good win rate and risk to reward and you know that it works over a long period of time. The problem is going to be you, your rules, your psychology, your risk management, your stop losses, over trading, all of that stuff. It's down to you, not the strategy most of the time. Make sure you're always journaling, being as self-reflected as possible and that's what's going to get you to the next level in the quickest amount of time if you can't afford mentorship or get in the proper direction from a six, seven figure funded trader. Now, whilst I've been out in Dubai, I've noticed so many things. The mindset here is so different and it needs to be. There's so much opportunity here, the networking opportunities, the investment opportunities, even the people that you meet. I haven't really spoke to loads of people, but I've had like three or four people just come up to me in the gym or at the beach. And they're just talking to me about different business opportunities, investments they've done, where they're looking to move to, the next watch they want, whatever. Where I'm from in Bournemouth, there's like, there's barely anyone who's thinking like this or even has any sort of investment opportunities or business ideas or actually doing anything. I'm glad to say that the majority of those people I'm very well connected with in Bournemouth anyways. Just in the UK in general, I mean, one of the WokeFX traders, Dan, he's in a place called Milton Keynes. And he literally says like, he's the only one he knows in that whole area that's got any sort of mindset of looking to get out of the nine to five and be a, become a trader. It doesn't have to be trading, it could be anything, but they have that mindset. And he definitely has that mindset and so does everyone in Woke. That's why it's so good. And that's why I think we're going to go to that next level in terms of what we do in the future. But yeah, it's definitely a place that I want to come to more. Um, it's quite kind of similar to Monaco, but I would say it's less authentic to a degree. To live in Monaco, I think you have to have 500,000 pounds or euros to even just live there. So everyone there has got very authentic wealth. Whereas a lot of people here, you obviously get a lot of people just coming on holiday here, which is fine. And you can go on holiday to Monaco as well. But it's kind of filled with that kind of flashy, potentially fake money, like faking a lifestyle kind of thing in Dubai. So I would say I prefer Monaco to a degree, but Monaco is definitely a lot more exclusive, whereas Dubai has got a lot more opportunity, I think, if you're coming there to invest or grow your network or create a business. I think Dubai is really a better opportunity. Obviously both tax havens as well. When I have kids and stuff like that, I definitely think Dubai is a very safe place to be. Like. I was actually at a restaurant the other day and there was a kid just sat by, by themselves for ages. Um, obviously I wouldn't do that. My point is, is that you couldn't do that in the UK or in London. And most people in London my age are, are just doing stupid things and acting like roadmen, acting like degenerates. Whereas the people that come out here are all very motivated, all very disciplined, all doing something with their lives. And that's why I do like it here. Plan is to definitely build out a few offices in England and then potentially look to get one in Dubai and potentially move here as well. If you are new to trading, I broke down in the last video my entire trading journey broken down. And I kind of go through the step-by-step -step process you should look to trade for in 2024. Ultimately, the system stays the same. You need to learn the basics, whether it's through baby pips or a beginner's course or a mentorship. Mentorship's obviously gonna be the most in details and it'll give you the rest of the components to become a trader. Once you've got the basics down, like market structure, risk management, understanding candlesticks, fundamentals, trade management, all of these things, you need to then find a specific strategy whether that's looking at SMC, ICT, retail concepts, whatever it is, whatever the strategy is, it can be as weird or extravagant as you want. All you need to do is once you've got that strategy, is back test it, make sure that you know it wins X amount of trades or it has a percentage win rate with a good risk to reward. Now, a good risk to reward can be one to one, can be two to one, can be eight to one, can be 20 to one, but it has to align with the strategy's win rate. If it doesn't, then it's not a good strategy, move on to a different one. Right, so my camera actually died when I was filming outside, it like overheated or something. Um, so I thought I'd finish off the video here. It's actually 2024 now. So I filmed this, the first section of this video about three, four days ago, and it's now 2024, so this is the first. Um, so I thought I'd kick off the year to a good start by doing some filming. Last night we went to, it was called Zero Gravity. There was like rudimental playing there, I think. Off the top of my head, um, got unnecessarily drunk, but today we're going desert to the desert. We're doing some like dune bashing and bugging and all that stuff. So that'll be fun. And then it's home tomorrow. So I'm home. I think I'm going to be picking up a car as well um, when I get home, which is pretty awesome. So uh, I'll make a video on that. If you can have any guests on the car, put it on down below. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And in terms of what I was talking about, starting trading in 2024, you need to have a strategy. You need to learn the basics like risk management, market structure, candlesticks, pips, all of that stuff. 
then you need to ideally the the quickest way to do it in total is buying something that has everything laid out to you with some sort of mentorship i would definitely say the mentorship is one of the most valuable parts because you're getting direct access to someone who's done the whole process and has gotten to that final stage um so learning directly from someone like that's going to cut that learning cut yeah cut that learning curve massively um but yeah if you're doing it from scratch i would learn the basics find a specific strategy that you want to trade whether it's retail smc ict whatever you want to trade do that um, or a specific strategy that you found or whatever then you want to back test it make sure that it's got a good win rate and a good risk reward so you know that it actually makes money and make sure that you can spot positions and stuff like that you want to forward test it trade it on a demo account uh, get used to the market so actually placing positions then you want to f test it and trade it on a small challenge or small live uh, so that you're used to it and then you want to once you've seen consistency with that you want to then start approaching bigger six figure challenges or seven figure challenges yeah, sorry not seven figure challenges six multi six figure challenges to scale that capital and then make consistent returns for it and that's your that's the route to being a good trader in, in 2024 to be honest that's kind of it for this video I'll be making consistently uploading every Wednesday and I'm looking to then do some more stuff on Sunday as well, maybe more tradey stuff, uh, specifically me on the charts. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I wish you all the best in 2024. Make sure to click that subscribe button. It means a lot. This year is going to be massive for this channel, so make sure you're on it. And yeah, any interaction will be great, so like, subscribe, all of that stuff. Um, and follow my Instagram as well because that's growing as well. So yeah, Don's Dot Effects and Rob Dono and then Woke Limited as well is uh, obviously Woke Effects as one. Well. So yeah, let's go. Cool.